Welcome back to the Tropical Update. It's Tuesday, September 12th. I'm Tom. I'll be guiding you through graphics. We're going to be talking about Irma, which is now a tropical depression with 35 mile an hour winds. And we'll also be talking about a hurricane in the Atlantic, Jose, and where it's going to be going. First up, let's look at our graphic here. Uh, at 11 p.m., it was five miles uh, south of Columbus, Georgia. Winds were 35 miles an hour. Pressure was 988 millibars, and it was moving northwest at 15. If you look at this graphic and look at the satellite, you can see that uh, most of the uh, heavy showers have moved uh, north, and they have moved also uh, to the west. Now our next one is going to be showing you the wind uh, field and how it's progressed over the days. And uh, this one is actually uh, not really showing exactly where the wind field is now because uh, some areas are getting some tropical force winds further west. And here is the cone for Jose. And uh, this hurricane is supposed to uh, make a loop and then head off toward the uh, north and west. So we'll just have to keep a very good eye on this because uh, anytime they make a loop it's hard to tell how tight or how wide that loop is going to be. And here is uh, one of the models and uh, it does put it pretty close to the mainland, the south, the southeast coast, um, probably uh, South Carolina, North Carolina, Hatteras area. But uh, as we know with Irma, we have to keep an eye on these models. They change every day, and it could trend further west. And here is um, just showing you. This is out of um, uh, Memphis, and uh, the west. Tennessee area is starting to get into the rain that we had over here in East Tennessee. And this is out of Greenville, South Carolina, and that shows there is still some more bands of rain that uh, could rotate into East Tennessee and into North Carolina overnight, but the majority of the very heavy stuff has moved, like I said, uh, off to the northwest and to the west. Uh, as of tonight. Now here is Jose again. We just got this picture in. That's why it's sort of out of sequence. Uh, but it looks pretty good. But it is got about a 25 knot wind shear that's uh, keeping it from intensifying. And also it's uh, not moving very much because of where it's at. It's going to make that loop. And here's its wind field over its life and you can see that uh, it's not a very big storm even though it did have over 100 mile an hour winds at one time uh, it just doesn't have a very big wind field at this time and we'll see what it does once it makes its loop here's a little bit better look at the uh, spaghetti models and you can see that some of them do put it pretty close to the North Carolina coast and uh, the error is a lot on these because of it's going to make that loop. But we're going to keep a good eye on this. Well, thank you for tuning in. And make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. And uh, any comments you have, please post them. We'll get back to you. And we're going to keep a good eye on Jose uh, in the next day or so after it makes that loop. And see if it becomes a threat to the East Coast of the U.S. Good night.